Mellow greetings, merry tubians. We are back in game. Our, after our last episode, I am expecting a huge amount of plot exposition to take place today. And we can see that we do have a master quest icon just downstairs, which will probably hold up any personal quests in the midground. That's what we're kind of hoping for. Uh, so it's probably going to be an exposition heavy at least part of an episode. I'm I'm not sure what's going to happen after the next bit, if we'll get a chance to become a seed again or, or what the deal's going to be. Uh, but as ever before all things, we must farm. So I will be right back after this short watering session. And we're back. Crops are watered. Fields are taken care of. Okay, I really, really, really need to clean my fields. But we'll get there. Alright, let's go see what's happening with our story. Back to the exciting stuff. Well then. So let's go over this one more time. Yuki, you saw a monster yesterday? I'm afraid so. That I did. I was out for an evening stroll, and from the corner of my eye, I saw something scurry towards the mountains. She saw a monster that close to town? Didn't I already do this bit? Oh? If this is true, we could have a major situation on our hands. Given the handful of tips I've received thus far, I'd say that's a safe bet. That's... If a monster's already coming that close, there's no telling if or when it might venture into town. Gracious, how frightening. I'll have to save my strolls for earlier in the day. Yes. Hmm. This is one cryptid sighting we can't afford to overlook. Scarlet, I want you and Leandra to increase your patrols around town at night. Do you think I'm still... Was this supposed to happen before I left Seed? I'm counting on you. Until we know exactly what we're dealing with, you must operate as a pair at all times. Understood. Leandra, rendezvous with me at my place tonight at 10 p.m. Roger that. Want to give it a go? The more eyes we put on this, the better. I'll ask around for some volunteers. Right. Yes, please do. Okay, yeah, we just jumped scenes. That was, I'm guessing, Scarlet. Scarlet had a, a scene bubble on her, so I'm guessing that was her event. And now we're up to the main storyline event. Confusing much? Have you made up your mind? I'll take on Warden Gideon. Yeah, I don't actually know much about Gideon or have any real reason to go after him, but apparently I'm somehow connected to the Dark Dragon and Livia and everything, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Are you sure? The road ahead is fraught with danger. Yeah. I'm sure. I may not remember much about who I was, but I know who I am now. I'm not a woman who can turn her back on you, or Scarlet, or even Red Ear. I am a woman who desperately wants her spell seal back so she can recruit more monsters, though. Oh, I look serious. More than anything, I am a ranger of seed. I made a vow to protect people, and my word is my bond. That's your answer? Yeah. That sounds really nonplussed, Leandra. Thank you. Then allow me to offer you my thanks. Huh? Actual appreciation from the field captain? Is it dusty in here or Quiet you Go see Terry and be quick about it. You've got a lot to thank him for. Yes. Understood. I'll go right away. How's our little town today? Alright, so if I go see Terry, am I getting my spell seal back? Apparently not yet. Wait, those were the wrong buttons. Which button was my spell seal attached to? Oh, not that one. Clearly, the other one. Alright, Terry. What you got for me? Because after this, I really need to go do... Actually, there's not a lot I really have to do. 
and start taking on wanted monsters again. Terry. We need to talk. Why do you have a blank photo frame Ooh, on your desk? So. so that's what the anonymous request was about. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. Don't worry about it. In your position, I imagine there's a lot you can't share with me. Thank you very much. Thank you for understanding. I really appreciate it. That's my line. Couldn't have done it without you. Ah, Terry. If you ever needed two bit gumshoes help, you know where to find me. So there are rumors that the game is going to be coming out on Steam soon, which would be freaking awesome. It would be amazing to be able to play this on PC as well. I'm wondering if there'll be a mod community, and if there is, how long will it take for Terry to be romanceable? I'll be happy to give you a discount on my usual rate. <laughs> Sounds good. Next time I need a private eye, I know who to call. Okay. May as well just say hi to Cecil while I'm here. I am rejoining Seed. Yeah. That's alright, I'll still be around. One of these days I need to learn to tell my left from my right. Ah. You guys will be fine. He can solve the riddle of what the heck I'm meant to be doing next. I guess I go report back to Livia? Oh, she doesn't have an icon, so... No quests. Hey, Eliza. Hey, Olivia, can I have my spell seal back? It really does. I would love to be curled up snug and warm in bed. Strategy meeting. Okay. When do I... I'm confused. And in my confusion, let's go buy some bread. We really also need to work on our lumber. Oh, the weather's not going to stop me, Yuki. It is really sweet of everybody in town to try and find riddles for Cecil. Recipe bread! We're going to keep going with the same pairing we've been doing until they stop teaching us new things. Really should probably check for seeds too. Our cash crops on our farm dragon are starting to run down a bit. But that is absolutely okay. Alright, to celebrate, let's buy an outfit. Definitely lots of wizards. Let's just go pop casual. Eventually I will buy all of these. Just, just, you know, to commemorate events as it were. Let's say hi. Yeah, I'm always out for a walk. Kind of part of the job. Yes, I'm very happy to be back in seed. To the point where I'm punning about it. I don't want to be punning. Can we leave the puns to Heinz? Ah, okay. Quest with Simone. Right. I might drop in and see the boys first. Just to get that done. And then we'll go see Simone. I 
to say hi to Palmo so it doesn't look like it's obvious that I'm here to visit his uh, apprentice, I guess, technically. I just came to chat. I can't afford to do much else today. At least not till I get around to cleaning up everything and um, stuff. Wood, yes, wood is what I was trying to go for there. Oh yeah, I should eat my bread. Of course I made it myself. Yeah, I'm always going to be me. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Raka. Get lots of sleep at night. No. Oh, I'm sorry. But last time I t tried to tell you to get some exercise and you reacted much the same, so I was kind of hoping for a different response to a different answer. Alright, let's go see Simone and find out what our story beat is. And then we've somehow got to get through till 10pm. I wish there was a way to fast forward time. Hello, everybody. Oh, Ludmilla. Uh, you're very tall. Ooh la la, hello, Leandra. Ludmilla. Hey, Ludmilla. Have you found a place to live? Mm -hmm. Simone got me all settled in. She even found me a job. Where at? Yes. Ludmilla will sell the flowers I carry in my shop. You heard it first. I'm gonna be a florist. Pinch me. I must be dreaming. <laughs> now then, let's get you set up. Yes! Very tall. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping her, Simone. Mm -hmm. I should be saying that to you. Ever since you showed up, our little town has grown and grown. As mayor, I couldn't possibly be happier. So keep bringing more friendly faces. We'd welcome a hundred, no, a thousand new neighbours. I'll do my best. That's a lot of new neighbours. Alright. Apparently that's it, so let's say hi to Simone. I feel great. Okay, you want to talk about the florist. And now you should be talking about me going back to seed. You guys gave me a home. There's nothing to pay back. I came to chat. Yeah. Cannot disagree. Alright, so, uh. Looking for a quest icon again. Ah, yep. Thought I'd be back at headquarters. At least we're doing lots of back and forthing to get us through to the 10 pm time. I don't have to include another skip. Oh, and there's a new quest up. Okay. We can do that. Busy, busy, busy. Looks like you've spoken with Terry. Yes, ma'am. As of today, I'm a ranger once again. Thank you. I feel more confident just knowing that you're fighting alongside us. <laughs> so do I. Now then. Uh-oh. Somebody just tried to blow up brick bath? <laughs> An earthquake! Uh-oh. Brace yourselves. Ticked off dragon? Incoming? Whew. I think it's finally over. However, That earthquake was cute. was huge. Thank goodness the silo didn't collapse. <laughs> Rigbath outpost is old, but she's tough. Uh. I wonder if everyone in town is okay. If you'll excuse me. Let's split up and go check on them. 
Yeah. Got it. After all the money I've spent trying to fix everything in this town, you're not gonna shake it to pieces? Alright, who'd I get allocated? Oh, step one, let's check on Terry. Dude, you okay? Good work today. Yes. No serious damage and no casualties. Okay, something at the pond. Thank you for letting me know. I thought I'd have to check in with everybody individually. It's nice to know that I don't. Why do I suddenly not have a clock? Is that because of the event? Oh, the pond appears to be made of icicles. What on earth happened here? The pond is frozen. No wonder it felt a little chilly. Hmm. Better close up shop. She certainly looks happy. Alright, was there any structural damage? The plates fell off the shelf. But I caught them all. Well. Aww. You're amazing, Fuka. That's sad. If she let them fall, then we could have shut down for a lot longer. How depressing. There are still some places I haven't checked yet. Okay. Ladies? Leandra! Thank goodness. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm fine, Priscilla. Looks like everyone here is safe, too. Um, Not everyone. Huh? Huh? Um, Granny Yuki fell and landed hard on her back. Simone is treating her right now. Is it bad? She could walk, so I don't think it's life-threatening or anything. Thank goodness. But... To be honest, I was scared out of my wits. This is the first time I've ever felt an earthquake like that. One time when... Uh, never mind. You're here to make sure everyone's okay, right? Go check on Granny Yuki and see for yourself. Yeah. Will do. Oh, I did say this was going to be exposition heavy. Just a little bruised. It'll hurt for a few days, but there shouldn't be any complications. Thank you, Simone. That was a mighty big fall. Gave me a scare like I hadn't felt in years. <laughs> My bottom's too well cushioned for a little tumble like that to do me in. You know. You could do with some cushioning yourself, Simone. You're too skinny for your own good. I worry about you. Mm hmm. It's true, I need a balanced nutritional intake to properly test the latest medicines. Oh, goodness That's me. not what I meant, and you know it. <laughs> Looks like everything's fine here. There are still some places I haven't checked yet. Lads, lads, my lovely lads. Um, is everyone okay? Arr. We're fine. No injuries to report. Wait a moment. 
Speak for yourself. Do you see the size of this lump on my head? <sighs> I bet you were sleeping in and got knocked out of bed. A good guess, my boy. Young Riker here leapt out of bed with cat-like reflexes and toppled right down the stairs. <laughs> Come on, Palmo. At least leave me a little dignity. <laughs> I'm just glad everyone is safe and sound. From what I can tell, the building didn't suffer any structural damage. But of course not! A little shake, rattle, and roll is no match for my superior construction! I love you, Balmor. And yet, had the quake felled my home, I would have gratefully rebuilt an even grander style. Bring on the tremors, I say. That is troubling. On so many levels. Still, not every building was so lucky. We're heading out. Gonna check the damage around town and make repairs as needed. You have my gratitude. How is it going for you? Yes. Granny Yuki sustained a minor injury, but besides that, everyone is fine. Structural damage was minor. Nothing that can't be fixed anyway. I found much the same on my rounds, and yet... The frozen pond, right? Yes. We need to report back to the field captain right away. Mm -hmm. On top of a historic earthquake, the pond froze over? This is a day of firsts. None of them good. Excuse me. Do you think it's related to the warden and Redia? That's a fair assumption. I believe the root cause is a massive and sudden loss of energy from a rune spot. Does that mean we're only just now starting to see the after effects of runic depletion? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. The main takeaway is that we've got more pressing issues than Gideon to deal with right now. Scarlet, go gather information about the rune spots around this region. Focus on any that show signs of large scale disruption. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Leandra, I'm sending you to the Rigbath Ruins. Huh? The ruins? Should I check the interior for damage? No. I need you to fetch something for me. What is it? What's that? One of my bones. What? What do you need that for? Wait, hold on. You've got bones just lying around? <laughs> I am I... an ancient dragon after all. <laughs> Oh, you're adorable. Um. Oh, I guess that's true? It is, isn't it? Oh, let's put my little jokes aside for now. Now then. You two witnessed Redia's seal being broken, did you not? Well? Think back. What form did the Dragon God of Shadows take while sealed? A fossil? That's right. I was the same. I've been dormant for a very long time. So long that my body had withered away to bone. Unlike Radia's, my bones had grown brittle. When my seal broke, some of them snapped apart. But my broken horn has power even now. Power that we can use to quell this disturbance. I'd like you to find it for me, Leandra. I've unlocked a door that blocked off a hidden passage. Enter it and venture deeper into the ruins. I'm counting on you. Okay. Can I have my spell seal back? How's our little town today? Shaken, rattled, and rolled. Okay. Spell seal? No? I won't get it till I get the bone back, will I? New request. Harvest a toy herb. We can do that. I think I still have toy herb seeds. Okay. I feel like I already have done that, but okay. Oh, we have a quest icon. Oh, that's going to be the ruins. Alright. Alright, 
before we do that, let's go check out the shop. Hey, Reinhardt. You doing okay? It's always best to keep moving. Hello there. Indeed. Ah, you spilled boiling water. Ah, you were trying to make jam. <laughs> I need somebody to sell me seeds. I can definitely say hi to Hina. What have you got for sale? Welcome. Nothing new. Do you even sell toy herb seeds? What is it? No, you don't. Thank you. I will find some. Never mind. Where's Miller? Check on everything else now. Running away. Kumo. Can't imagine anything phased you. Yo. They really are. Uh, Beatrice is in the bath. I'll let her be. She should she should have a moment. A bath, after all, should be a solitary enterprise. Hey Fuka. Ah. Is it not? Yes. So basically everybody's cool is what I'm getting. Should go find Hina. Julian went. There he is. Yeah, you do. Take care of her. Alright, nobody's down in the ruins at the moment. There's Beatrice is in the bathroom, Reinhardt's out shopping. Alright, this seems weird and early, but we are actually going to call it there. Um, all this talking has left me a, a bit of a cottony mouth. Somewhat gummy lips for some reason. Oh, hi, Martin. I'd love to know what you think of my weapons. Yeah, the pond's frozen. We know. 
Alright, so yeah, yeah, I know that we haven't done a full day, but we do actually need to pick up halfway through today to go do the stuff with Scarlet. Um, and I would like to get a bit of stuff done before we head into the ruins. And I've got some real life concerns that I need to go and tend to. So we are going to call it there for now. Next time we help out Scarlet. Hopefully we'll investigate the ruins. We'll see what happens. And thank you very, very much for joining me today. And we'll catch you in the next one.